Hello and welcome to the Catholic Church in Uxbridge. I'm delighted that I've been asked to say a few words and be part of these online reflections. Now, we're quite excited at the moment because we hope to reopen our church over this coming week. And I know many different churches are doing exactly the same, although often at different speeds and in different ways. Some churches are opening pretty quickly, others are taking a bit more time to make all the relevant preparations um, and to get their teams ready. But certainly here, we've been very active in the last week, getting together our volunteers, cordoning off various areas of the church and making it as safe as possible. It's been an extraordinary time in the life of the church these last two and a bit months. Uh, who knew how things would develop when we had to close our churches back in March? We all thought perhaps it would just be for a few weeks and then we'd return to normality fairly rapidly. But as we all know, things didn't quite work out that way. There have been many blessings and opportunities in this time. We've all made efforts to make the church available as much as possible online. People have been joining services through their computers, their mobiles, their tablets. But one thing we've had to do is we've really had to dig deep into ourselves. We rely so often as Christians on coming to the church building on Sunday. And so we should. It's a big part of our daily and weekly life. Coming to the Eucharist, coming to some other source of service, the source and summit of our life as Christians. And now suddenly the church doors have been shut and we've had to find other ways of being church, of continuing our relationship with the Lord and with one another. And it hasn't been too easy. We've been forced beyond our comfort zone. But I think one thing that we've been able to do, perhaps, and it seems obvious, is realise that God is present everywhere. Yes, of course, he's present in a church building, a place hallowed by worship for many years, a place where the Eucharist is celebrated, but he's also present in your homes, in the places where you've been participating in the church services. He is present in your families and your friends. He's present in the natural world. I'm sure all of us have enjoyed hearing the birds sing a little bit more clearly, or looking at the stars at night, or enjoying walks through the parks. In fact, I think because of the lockdown, walking has become much more popular than usual. And we've also learned to see the Lord present in the needy, in the sick, in those who are anxious, those who've asked us for help and who we've been able to serve. So we mustn't forget all these lessons that we've learned. Yes, of course, we love our church buildings. What we do on a Sunday in terms of worship is absolutely essential. But being a Christian is not just about coming to church, ticking that box and then going back to our lives as if nothing has happened. In a very real way these last few weeks, our daily reality has been immersed in God and in the life of the church. The church has very much come to your homes and we need to make sure that the church, that our faith remains the centre of our daily reality. The church doors are shortly going to be flung open and in those church doors is a very powerful sign. On the one hand it invites us in, the doors being open invites us into the church to pray, to be blessed, to be nourished. But also those same doors ask us to go out. We're being sent forth to go into the world and spread the good news and to realise that God is just as much present in our homes and in the details of our sometimes messy lives as he is here in the church. So let's put that great lesson, which we all know, of course, in theory, into practice. Let's follow the Lord's call. Let's spread his love everywhere. And let's remember that being a Christian is not just about the church building. It's about what we do in every corner of our lives.